After purchasing this plot of land in LaPorte, Minnesota, Doug Crosby had aspirations of creating a ranch and a grazing pasture for some cattle that he planned on purchasing. This land was prior to, to my owning it, was overgrazed and uh, was not taken care of properly and we're trying to put it back to what it should be. But first things first, he had to remove all the rocks. They're prevalent in this county. They said I'm okay to pile the stuff or to bury the stuff and all the noise and all the dust it would take to do that. But the former Hugga Township Board, they said selling the rocks would require a permit. Those members, they were since voted out and the new board, they're now dealing with all the rock drama. He was claiming he was picking rocks in his field and he was selling them and that's fine. Um, you need a permit for that. Uh, under our ordinance, but he was digging three feet down and coming across. Um, he was also selling his topsoil. But Crosby says it's his property, and all the money made off the rocks basically just covered his excavation costs. Crosby says that's far from what the township described as mining. This is not mining. This is normal agricultural practices. We just chose to use some bigger equipment to get it done faster. And the other farmers in the area are asking the same question Crosby is, why can't the rocks be sold? And I think the real issue here is, is that somebody was probably afraid somebody might make a buck. And uh, so they thought they needed a permit. But Crosby wasn't willing to budge or purchase a $2,000 permit. If they're allowed to do this to one farmer, where are they going next? He can cite three Supreme Court cases out of the Midwest that he believes will back him up. One in Iowa, one in Illinois, one in Nebraska, which the Supreme Courts in those states came down and said that rocks out of a farm field or a, or a ranch are the sole property of that landowner and can be dissolved of, either sold or uh, disposed of, without permit or licensure. I think they're jealous of the fact that Doug had the ability to get somebody to take the rocks. Uh, whether he makes a dollar or a million dollars off of them is none of their business. So after the township forced Crosby to halt the work at his ranch for 60 days, he decided he was going to sue him. So other farmers don't find themselves in the same situation between a rock and a hard place. I'm not gonna stop. I will sell, I will find the money, whatever I gotta do. To, to correct this wrong so that no other farmer has to go through with this. In Helga Township, Eric Crest, Valley News Live.